Hi, my name is Nancy Bruce, and I'm the creator of the Wildflower Exhibit each year for the Sycon Barbecue. Today, let's take a look at what's blooming up Listening Hill. We'll start at the bottom and work our way up. The petals of Sierra Tidy Tips are school bus yellow, and the leaves are dissected, meaning branched. Seep monkey flower ranges from Pacific Ocean splash zones to Listening Hill to the geysers of Yellowstone National Park. Musk monkey flower grows in the shade under overhanging granite slabs, and its leaves turn slimy when you touch them. And granite crack monkey flower tells you exactly where it grows. Douglas's sandwort grows in cracks on granite outcrops as well. The genus name for Hansen's larkspur, delphinium, is Latin for dolphin, which describes the shape of this flower. Springville clarkia is an endangered species known only from Tulare County. Sycon and the adjacent foothills contain the largest known population of this delicate flower. Harlequin lupin is endemic, growing only in California on sunny, gravel soils. Look for the glorious blooms of Munn's iris in the deep shade. Iris is Latin for rainbow. Owl's clovers are hemiparasites. They photosynthesize with their scarce green leaves and also parasitize the roots of plants living nearby. Cryptantha looks a lot like popcorn flower, but it prefers hot and sunny granitic soils. Foothill poppies open their blooms wide on sunny days and turn Sycon hillsides into gold. Dark purple petals and narrow spider-like leaflets help distinguish Bentham's spider lupin from other lupins. Caterpillar phacelia thrives in hot, gravelly places and attracts butterflies and bumblebees. Watch out though, the hairs cause irritation when touched. Look for pygmy stone crop at the edges of exposed granite slabs. It's a succulent. Sickle pod rock cress provides a nectar source in early spring for butterflies. Dense white hairs and light green leaves reduce moisture loss, allowing silverleaf lotus to thrive on hot granite slabs. To distinguish tomcat clover from other clovers, look for the long, narrow leaves with jagged edges. The leaves of Yerbasanta have a waxy coating and a strong spearmint flavor, leading some to try it as chewing gum. Waxleaf ceanothus, or buckbrush, is not a sweet-smelling flower. Some say it smells like dirty socks, but pollinators flock to it. Pretty Face is in the lily family, having the characteristic flower parts in threes and multiples of three. A rare flower at Sycon, Mountain Jewel Flower, grows on the dry, rocky upper slopes of Listening Hill. Foothill Sunburst is in the sunflower family, and it grows in grassy areas. Shade-loving Fiesta Flower is also called Velcro Plant because the leaves have tiny hooks on the back that easily stick to clothing. The hooks help the plant climb up shrubs and trees up to eight feet off the ground. What is it reaching for? Sunlight or the attention of pollinators? Vibrant and late blooming wind poppies grow on steep north facing slopes. The stems can grow up to two feet long. Rose Fairy Lantern has three rose colored sepals and three petals fringed with long whiskery hairs. The globe shaped flowers lure pollinators inside with nectar that drips out of a small opening. What might be the function of those hairs inside the bloom? Our last flower is the late blooming mariposa lily. Mariposa is Spanish for butterfly. Thank you so much for joining me on this trip up Listening Hill at Sycon.